Hello, how are you doing? This is Ranjit and welcome to the second weekly tech report and analysis. In this episode, I'm going to talk about what was launched this week and important tech uh, advancements. And the first major news that we have is from IBM. And IBM um, did a breakthrough announcement that they have done tests with the fine nanometer process for manufacturing uh, chips and this is a very big deal because the current uh, uh, process that we have the best is a 10 nanometer and uh, for example the snapdragon 835 that is made by samsung's uh, foundries are uh, using the 10 nanometer and uh, after this 10 nanometer we'll be moving to the 7 nanometer that is possibly by 2018 sometime uh, but ibm ha has announced uh, uh, prototypes of 5 nanometer so this is a great uh, breakthrough and according to ibm uh, the 5 nanometer process can pack in about 30 billion transistors in the chip uh, which is again a huge deal because even the 7 nanometer that's going to come out next year packs uh, about uh, just 20 billion chips so that's a huge improvement and also uh, they are now using a new process this is known as gate all around FET that is known as GAAFET uh, the current process that we are using is the FinFET so this is also a new thing and IBM says that uh, compared to the 10 nanometer chips that we are getting as of now these uh, 5 nanometer will be far more efficient and according to uh, IBM they say that the 5 nanometer process will offer 40% performance boost or a reduction of 75% in terms of battery uh, life that is power consumption for the same performance so again uh, it will be great but again uh, we are not going to get this 5 nanometer process as of now it's expected to uh, come by late 2020 or by 2021 so let's move to the next uh, major event and uh, that was by apple that is the wwdc 2017 and in that uh, apple announced a lot of new uh, actually products uh, i did uh, actually post a dedicated video about that i'll have the link in the uh, show notes and also i'll leave a card and the major new things were that apple announced the new ios 11 it's still in beta and also the mac os high sierra apart from that hardware uh, lineup of apple also got a huge boost for example uh, they announced this new iMac uh, Pro for high-end professionals. It starts at $5,000. That's going to come out in December uh, of uh, 27. And also, they updated the entire lineup of their Macs. For example, the iMac, the MacBooks, and the MacBook Pros are all now updated with the Intel KB Lake uh, chips. And uh, they have also announced a new smart speaker. And they named it uh, as the HomePod. This is a smart uh, speaker which has a Siri built in. So, you can talk to it like, Amazon Alexa or even like Google uh, Google Home and also uh, Apple says that uh, the uh, sound output from the same would be great it has six uh, tweeters according to Apple and a subwoofer and is a smart speaker again this will also be uh, uh, available only from December onwards now moving to the next thing and that is regarding the OnePlus 5 uh, we got announcement from OnePlus 5 that the OnePlus 5 would be announced in India on 22nd this is a snapshot that you can see from the the oneplus uh, facebook page and uh, we can see a glimpse of what the oneplus 5 might be there was one more post like this so it looks like we are going to get the dual camera and according to some of the leaks internationally this will be launched on 20th june but in india it's going to launch on the 22nd in mumbai so what do you think about this oneplus 5 clearly looks like it is going to have that uh, dual rear facing camera now moving to the next launch that already happened this week and i was in goa um, uh, that is moto actually launched uh, moto z2 play i have the moto z2 play and uh, this is the successor to the moto z that was launched moto z play that was launched last year this is a lot more thinner in design uh, as you can see and in terms of camera performance the camera performance has also increased quite a bit on this one it's a slim design moving to the specs it is having a snapdragon 626 chipset 3000 milliamp hour battery and it's a lot slimmer and uh, uh, Lenovo and Moto also says that the camera has improved. In fact, yes, I've taken a lot of sample shots with this one. I'll be posting a dedicated video around this one very soon on my channel. There I'll share a lot of sample shots and videos that I shot with it. So certainly the camera performance has improved and also the front facing camera, though it's still a five megapixel, but now it has a dual tone front facing fact. Again, stay tuned to my channel. I'll be posting a dedicated video about this Moto Z2 Play. 
Now moving to the last news, uh, this is regarding the Nokia 6. Uh, we have an event on 13th June in India that is by Nokia HMD Global and uh, it's expected that they'll be announcing the uh, Nokia lineup of Android devices that is the Nokia 6, Nokia 5 and even the Nokia uh, 3. Uh, the Nokia 6 uh, is considered to be their like uh, crown as of now. Though in terms of specs, the Nokia 6 is not that powerful. It's still having just a Snapdragon 430 chipset. But uh, according to what we have seen the leaks and uh, what uh, other publications have said, the build quality is supposed to be really good. It has a dual front firing speaker. But let's see how is the camera and what would be the pricing in India. According to rumors, guys, uh, it's said that the Nokia 6 pricing might be around the 15,500 to 16,000 in India. So what do you think about the Nokia 6 in India? Do let me know in the YouTube comment section. So guys, the, these were the important uh, news this week. Again, stay tuned to my channel. Again, I'll be posting a lot more videos. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.